What is up guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to scrape Amazon reviews automatically by creating a simple workflow for Hey Nene Chan. Let's get started. To scrape Amazon reviews automatically, I'm going to use this tool called Appify. Appify is an incredible tool that you can use to scrape any website and automate projects. So to get 30% off your first subscription of this tool, just click the link down below in the description, then proceed to create your account in Appify. And after creating your account in Appify, head over to Appify store. Here, we're going to search for the website that we'd like to scrape. In our case, we'd like to scrape Amazon reviews. So I'll search for the website, and then find the tool that we'd like to use to scrape reviews. Choose to use this tool, so I'll open it on a new tab. And this is the tool that we're going to use to scrape reviews from Amazon. So all you have to do here is add the product URL over here. And then here you can add the number of reviews that we'd like to scrape. You can say five reviews. You can also filter for the most recent reviews and filter by stars say five stars now to scrape the reviews i'll click on save and start and here you can see that our tool is running and getting more data let's give it a second here yeah. You can see our tool succeeded in scraping the reviews for us of this specific product. So here we're getting the unique idea of the product, the rating, title of the product, the review, when the review was published, country, variant, if the review is verified, the position, and the review you are ever here. Now, to get these reviews to our workflow, I'll click on API right here, and then scroll where it says get data site items and copy this link. And here, first of all, we're going to add a manual trigger, then we're going to search for HTTP request node and click on the, the node right here. And here we're going to paste the URL that we just copied. And then I'll click on execute step to get the reviews. So here you can see our node was executed successfully. And you can see we're getting the reviews over here. So we're getting the review ID, review title, description, rating, and the review URL over here, which is awesome. So now instead of having to manually scrape the reviews using this tool over here, and then copying the data set ID, coming and pasting it over here, then executing this node so we can get these reviews. We can automatically scrape the reviews using our HTTP request node over here. So to do that, here, I'll clear this URL, then I'll open Appify's documentation, and I'll scroll down below to find the API that we like to call. So I'd like to run an actor synchronously with input and get data set items. So here, I'll copy the C URL, then I'll go back to our workflow, then I'll paste our CRL right here and click on import. Now here, we're going to add three items. The first item that we're going to add is the actor ID. Second is the token, API token right here and the JSON right here. Now, let's start by adding our actor ID over here. To get our actor ID, I'll go back to our tool. And then I'll copy the unique ID of this tool. To get the unique ID of this tool, I'll copy it from the search URL. The actor ID is in the search URL, then I'll paste it over here. And the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add our token over here. Get our token, I'll open our tool, and I'll click on API and integration. Then click on API and integration. Now to create API token, just click on create a token over here, give it a name, and click on create. Since I had already created a token, I'm going to copy it over here, back to our tool, paste our token over here. Then the last thing that we're going to add is our JSON over here. So on specify body, I'm going to click on using JSON and add our JSON over here. We get our JSON, I'll go back to our tool. Then we say manual and JSON, click on JSON. And then here, I'll copy this JSON, and then go back to our tool, click on expression and expand it over here to paste our JSON over here. So I would like to scrape five reviews from this product over here, this unique ID. And then here, I'll click on back to converse. And then here, I'll execute step to scrape the reviews for us over here in any time. You can see our node is being executed. Let's give it a second for it to scrape the reviews for us. So here you can see our node was executed successfully, successfully scraped reviews of this product. And got the reviews right here, and got the reviews right here, using our workflow that we just created right here. Since our node works perfectly, I'll rename it to Amazon Reviews Scraper over here. And now with our reviews, we can proceed to add reviews to a Google Spreadsheet. In Google Sheet, I've created a spreadsheet that I've renamed to Amazon Product Reviews. And in this spreadsheet, I've created a sheet that I've renamed to Product Reviews. And here's where we're going to add the reviews. So here we're going to add the review ID, title, description, review score, country, and the review URL. 
to add the review to this fresh shape. Here, I'll search for Google Sheet, click on Google Sheets, and I'll click on Append Ring Shape. I need to create a credential. By clicking on create a new credential, then sign in your Google account to connect Google account 2010, and then your credential will be created. Since I had already created my credential, I'm going to close it. And here I'm going to find our spreadsheet, which is this spreadsheet right here. And here I'm going to choose our sheet, which is this sheet right here. And here, and here, we're going to add values to our columns in our spreadsheet with the data that we scraped using AppFi. So for the review ID, I'll drag it over here. The title, I'm going to drag the review title right here. Description, I'm going to drag the review description right here. The review score, I'm going to drag it right here. Here, I'll search for country. So for the country, I'm going to drag the country right here. Then I'll add the review URL over here. So to add the reviews to our spreadsheet, I'll click on execute step right here. As you can see it's executing our node, and we successfully added our reviews to our spreadsheet. So yeah, I'll rename this node to reviews, Amazon reviews. Then click on the name right here. When I open our spreadsheet, you can see we added our reviews right here. So we added the review ID, title of the review, review score, country, and the review URL right here. Using the simple workflow that we created right here in Anytime. So our workflow works perfectly. So we are scraping reviews using using this tool in AppFi. So this is the tool that we are using to scrape the reviews. And then after we scrape the reviews, we add into the reviews to our spreadsheet over here. And this is a spreadsheet that we are in the reviews. And try scraping reviews from a different product. So I'll open this node right here. Then in our JSON, yeah, I'll add a unique ID of a product right here. And then I'll click on back to converse over here. And then I'll click on execute a workflow to scrape the reviews of the product that we just added. Then add the reviews to a spreadsheet right here using our workflow. Let's give it a second. Here, you can see that our workflow is executed successfully. Now, when I open this node, huh, we successfully scraped reviews from this product over here that we added its unique ID over here. And then we added the reviews to our spreadsheet. Now, when I open our spreadsheet right here, you can see we added five extra reviews that we scraped right here. So we added the review ID, title, the review description, review score, country, and the review URL over here. So we scraped these product reviews and added the reviews to our spreadsheet using the simple workflow that we created right here in any time. The only thing I will improve on this workflow is how, instead of having to manually add the product URL over here, we would create a different sheet in our spreadsheet where we can add a list of product URLs to the sheet. And then here, our trigger will be, when I search for Google Sheet right here, our trigger over here will be on row added. So now we're going to grab the URL, the product that we added to our to our product URL shape and then map the product URL right here in our JSON. So then instead of having to manually add the product URL right here, like I did. So you're grabbing the product URL from the shape and mapping it over here in our app in our tool, and then scraping the reviews and then adding the reviews to our spreadsheet right here. But our workflow works perfectly. So we're scraping the reviews using our tool. This is the tool that we're using to scrape the reviews, and then adding the reviews to our spreadsheet. These are the reviews that we just scraped using our tool over here using the simple workflow that we created right here in Anytime. If you have a workflow or an AI agent that you'd like for me to create using Anytime, just comment down below in the comment section. I read all the comments, and if I land on your comment and I find this intriguing, I'll come back on a future video showing you how to create the entire workflow or AI agent from scratch using Anytime. But for now, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.